Hello. At the risk of shooting myself in the foot and celebrating too early, I would just like to say I had a meeting with a private therapist. And I actually feel kind of positive. I know a few people said that you need these kind of little free sessions that are just a short period of time. You just kind of get the feel of the, uh, the counsellor and they get the feel of you. And you can kind of gauge if it's the direction you want to go, if it's the person that you want to sort of hopefully get a little bit of help from. And I, I must say that I feel, I feel kind of positive about this one. And it's a different sort of counselling. It's, it's not, I think he said, it's not CBT counselling. It's not, you know, he listed off a, a load of different things that he was. And it's like some person-centric, I can't remember what terminology he actually used, but the long story short is it's what you kind of see in films, you know, with the big long chairs that you go in, you sit on the chair and you just talk to the dude. It's that kind of counselling. So it's all led by me. He's like, you talk about what you need to talk about, what you want to talk about for as long as you want to talk about it. You go to the depth that you want to do when you're ready. And he says, there's no sort of limits or anything. You're just able just to sit and talk. And we just work things out. We'll ask you questions. Just trying to basically get to the roots of a lot of stuff. And then once you're at the root, try and work out how to just tweak whatever it is that you need to tweak to try and get you to where you've got to go. It's like, it's, it's kind of like we got to unwrap something. You know, um, how would I explain it? If somebody asked you, to make a box, right? And all they gave you was a box. And they were like, make this. But you've got to make it out of this. Just a flat 2D piece of whatever. You need to unwrap that box in a way so it lays flat. Rather than it being a three-dimensional object, you need to unwrap it. So that you can see what you need to do in order to put that new bit back together to make a box. It's a similar thing to that. That was my understanding anyway. So it's a case of unwrapping, <coughs> excuse me, unwrapping all this chaos that's up here and putting it back together in a way that is a little less chaotic and has a little bit more understanding. Maybe it's like learning algebra where you know, you get lucky and you find out X equals blah. The whole point of therapy is understanding how you got there so that you can understand the process. I don't know if I'm actually explaining that very well or if I'm just making things worse. But the long story short is, the takeaway from today is, it's going to be quite daunting. It's going to be quite scary. There's a lot of stuff that I said to him. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to be able to talk about some things because of the severity of them. And there's a couple of things that I feel can't leave the family, if you like. There's certain things that can only stay within the people that know. And they burn away. And it is something that I know that I need to address. But it's like having that sort of faith or comfort in sharing that information with a complete stranger in the hope that it helps is a bit of a it's a bit of a daunting task but i hope to whatever that i don't eat these words i'm feeling like i might have found somebody who potentially can give me a little bit of a, a help and i i have always said i said to him there as well as like, i don't know honestly what help looks like in my situation i don't know what my end goal is that i want to achieve other than to do something about this release this tension that's just felt like it's been built up over the years so yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be toughy it's gonna be toughy with it being private uh i don't know overseas or whatever but in the uk you have to fund that yourself how you fund that yourself is well with your own funds basically which yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be scary watching that much money kind of 
trickle away. Now I say that much money, I got to put this in perspective. In real terms, it's going to be realistically, it's about five hours wage for somebody who's minimum wage. So it's not like mind blowing amount of money, but at the same time, you know, it's an hour session at that much money. It kind of feels like, well, as I explained to him, realistically with the issues that I had with my back and how severe that was. And I felt that I needed to like act on that real quick. I put quite a bit of money to find out what the issue was there to get that sorted as quick as I could. It's kind of stupid that in a way, I don't know about anybody else, but I look at the mind in a, in a different way. I just look at it like, well, it's going to cost me that much an hour to see this dude. It's like, can I, can I really, you know, see myself paying that much money for an hour's session? Well, if it's that important to you to fix your brain, you'll find the money, won't you? You'll find, you'll find the right thing to do. Now, even if it takes three or four sessions and I, I turn to him and say, look, I can't, I can't afford anymore, but you know, what I've done has helped. And then I have to make my way through to bring that balance level, then so be it. But I do feel that I feel that we would, we kind of neglect the importance of our mental health until it's, until it's really at its worst. It's something that is so taboo still that it, we don't seek help as early as perhaps we should do. And then as a result of, as a result of that, things are so much worse when we do finally seek help. So, you know, for me, I have to reason with myself that, look, this is a positive thing to do. It is something that, I don't know. I, I still question, genuinely, I still question if I need to, or if it, I'm just living in some, mess that just ah uh, you know you, one day you just it's like that cycle of I don't know how to explain it but you you should be able to fix stuff yourself so do you need therapy or are you just wasting more people's time you're just wasting more money you know you're trying to do something that you could fix yourself. And I suppose that is a me issue again, where it's like, you know, I'm being that tough on myself that I'm not allowing myself to outsource help because it's, you know, it's the modern day world, isn't it? You're a man in society. Just get on with it. You don't need no help. You're supposed to just struggle and find your own way through. It's how it builds character. It's how it builds strength. But there's only so long that you can tread water for before you get tired and slip under. So, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to share that with you guys, really, that hopefully, and it is a big hope because I don't know, but hopefully I've found somebody that might be able to help me. I really, really hope I don't eat those words. And I was really, really unsure about speaking it, I suppose, because I feel the way that things have reflected in my life, if something positive turns up and I get on board with it, then it's only a matter of time before it crashes to the ground faster than anything. And it's like, oh, that, that positivity that I had has just gone to shit again. So I'm a little bit apprehensive to tell you guys about it, but at the same time, it's about being open and honest. And yeah, you know, when we sit there and he's telling me and it made me choke up a little bit because it was like somebody is somebody is there to listen. And a lot of people say they are there to listen, but I've never particularly felt it. When I'm talking to people, they will jump in and talk over me or, or you know, ask questions that, I would have answered if they'd have let me just talk. It was sort of something that comes up. But yeah, this, this guy, he, he literally just sat there and let me talk. The only time he spoke to me was if I asked him a direct question or if there was like an awkward silence where it was very clear, I, I felt like I had nothing left to say. So he would then spark up. 
He never spoke over me, which I found refreshing. I'm not going to lie, really refreshing, because we just speak over each other so much in the modern world. We really do. So to have somebody sit across you from half an hour, introduce himself, say, you know, this is what this therapy is all about. This is how it works. What are you hoping maybe to achieve from it? And then you sit there and you just talk to him and he just listens, asks you a couple of questions, talks a little bit more, listens again. It's making me emotional to feel heard. Make of that what you will. But yeah, it's actually made me really emotional to feel heard for the, what feels like the first time in a long time which I know sounds weird talking to you lot over on the internet I suppose as an older person it's we understand that the internet isn't reality so I could have a million subscribers and get a million views of video, it still doesn't mean that I'm heard. Reality is kind of important. How people are about who you are and what you do in the day-to-day -day is, is kind of really important. We don't live on the internet. At least not yet, anyway. 